he had everything going tonight. I mean, everything. He had a, a good fastball, um, good cutter, good curveball, great changeup, and he was uh, uh, commanding every pitch extremely well. He was he was nails tonight. I know you ended up with four in that seventh inning, but I was hoping to get a thought on Lorenzo Cain, an eight-pitch at-bat there in the seventh. Goes the opposite way. Huge at-bat. You know, Gordy's home run won it for us. You know, when it, you know, for Gordy to hit a homer on Nebraska night was special. But, um, you know, that, that home run won the ball game for us. The four in, in the seventh inning just made my job a lot easier because I'm thinking, okay, the way he's going with the one-run lead, I mean, there's no question he's going back out for the eighth. And then we get into the ninth inning, and he did such a you know good job of managing his pitch count. You know, last time I did that was in like May last year, and it didn't work out. So I'm like, okay, if this, if this happens again, he's going to go back out for the ninth inning. But thankfully, I you know, wasn't put in that position to have to make that decision because we had a great inning there in the seventh inning, with, starting with Lorenzo's at bat. Uh, of course, Billy, you know, with the big double to start it off. Gordy with the base hit up the middle. Lorenzo with a great at bat. Uh, Moose with a tremendous at bat to keep it going. Escobar. So um, it was a great tack on inning. It's now six straight series victories for this ball club. You've always been confident. But how much confidence are, are they showing right now within one another? Not a lot. You know, a lot. They 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 believe in each other. Um, you know, they know that right now we got, you know, guys hot and uh, they feel real good about where they're at. How much energy did you guys get from the crowd tonight? Did you sense uh, almost like a little bit of a playoff atmosphere? Eh, I don't know. You know, um, Flanny, it's hard. You're focusing so hard on the game. Um, you know, there's times, and I meant to do it today because I looked up and, you know, you, you feel the buzz and you feel the electricity. But before the game started, I looked up and, and saw the whole upper deck f filled. And, you know, I told myself, you know, sometime tonight, just sit back and listen to the crowd. But when the game's over, you still don't hear it. You know, you're so focused on what you're doing. Um, it, it's kind of an amazing thing with the crowd that loud and that enthusiastic that you're thinking and you're so focused that you, that you, you don't even hear it. But um, it's, it's definitely an energy that you feel in the stadium for you. Do you have a sense, too, of what the city is, is the buzz that's going around the city by right now? Or is it too no. Hard, is it too removed I don't have a sense. I don't read the paper. I don't listen to the newspaper. I mean, I don't listen to the – I don't – I don't. I purposely don't because I'm just focused on my task at hand. But I would imagine that there's a lot of excitement out there. Is it fair to say power had been the missing element? Well, I mean, a little bit. I don't know if it's fair to say. You know, we got guys hot at the right time right now. You know, Billy's swinging the bat so much better. Lorenzo's gotten hot again. Um, Omar's mixing in his. Salvador's been great. Uh, you know, all up and down our lineup. You look at our lineup tonight, Moose is really swinging the bat so much better against everybody, right-handed, left-handed. You know, Alfeld's tough against left-handed hitters, and he steps up there and knocks in a big run for us. Um, you know, so... The power definitely helps. You know, if you can score a run with one swing instead of having to get two or three hits uh, to produce a run, it's huge. And if you can do it, if you can produce two or three runs with one swing, that's even better. Um, but right now, we're swinging the bats as a team very, very well. You mentioned the seventh inning. You said made your job a lot easier. The ninth inning then was a no-brainer. Like Absolutely no-brainer. Normally, I'll ask. You know, in, in a game like that, how you doing? We didn't even ask. I mean, he had managed his pitch count to the point where it wasn't, it wasn't even a subject that we were going to – we didn't even think twice about it. Yeah. Joy, Jeff, Holly, ready to go. If, the bases, if the bases were loaded, yeah, or they yeah. scored a run, we were going to give him an opportunity to get the shutout. Yeah. No, but he, Holly was out there throwing. He was just playing catch. He wasn't throwing. Tell me the reason why you send Dyson to Hopkins. I do it every day. Any day in a close game, um, Dyson and uh, Kane are above average defenders in the outfield. Our outfield is the biggest outfield in baseball. And, you know, Nori does a great job out there. Nori's a tremendous defensive player, but it improves our defense, especially in a one run game. Yeah, I think he I think he lost that ball a little bit, yeah. 
Yeah. Since running with Dyson in the six, I mean, you really wanted to get that second run no matter when it was. Well, no, I mean, we've been kind of looking at the seventh inning on you know, for defensive replacements. And when Nori got, you know, when Nori got on right there, you know, it just made sense to, to pinch run Dyson in that spot because Dice is almost a sure bet to steal the base. 